Hey, everyone. Have you ever wondered if those old dollar coins you have stashed away might be worth more than face value? Well, today, we're diving into a fascinating piece of coin history, the 1976 Eisenhower Silver Dollar. Not all of these coins are created equal, so if you're lucky enough to have a 1976 silver variant, you might be sitting on something more valuable than you think. Let's explore the value and unique characteristics of these coins to see what makes them stand out. The 1976 dollar coin was part of the Eisenhower series, named after the former president Dwight D. Eisenhower. These coins are iconic, featuring Eisenhower's portrait and minted as part of a tribute to the country's bicentennial celebration. However, not all Eisenhower dollars minted in 1976 are made of the same materials. The vast majority were minted in Philadelphia and Denver using a copper-nickel-clad composition. But there's a special variant struck at the San Francisco Mint, which contains real silver. Today we'll explore what makes these silver coins rare and how they hold up in terms of value. You might wonder why 1976 saw the production of both clad and silver coins. It all comes down to a debate in Congress at the time. Some felt that using silver was unnecessary due to rising costs, while others argued that a dollar coin featuring a former president should have more prestige and value. The decision was made to mint both versions, the copper-nickel-clad coins for mass circulation and the silver version as a nod of respect to Eisenhower. This dual production was intended as a compromise and ultimately made the silver coins more desirable for collectors. One of the most distinctive features of the 1976 Eisenhower dollar is its design. While the obverse side retained Eisenhower's portrait, the reverse underwent a transformation. To mark the bicentennial, a competition was held to create a unique design. The winning entry was by a young art student, Dennis R. Williams, who presented a striking image of the Liberty Bell against the moon. This was a symbolic choice, capturing both the nation's past and its ambitions for the future, with the Liberty Bell representing freedom and the moon symbolizing exploration. If you're trying to determine whether your 1976 dollar is the valuable silver version, there are a few key indicators. First, look for the S Mint mark, which identifies coins produced at the San Francisco Mint. This mint produced both proof and business strike silver coins, so that S is crucial. Additionally, silver coins have a slightly higher weight, about 24.6 grams compared to 22.7 grams for the clad version. The silver dollar's edge will also appear slightly different in color due to its composition. These small details are key to identifying a potentially valuable piece. When it comes to determining the value of a 1976 silver dollar, Condition and rarity play a big role. Coins are graded on a scale from 1 to 70, with higher grades indicating fewer imperfections. A typical 1976 San Francisco silver dollar in excellent but circulated condition might be worth around $13. In mint state, MS60 condition, its value can rise to about $16. Coins graded MS67 or higher are rare and valued at around $48 or more. The most pristine examples, graded MS69, can be worth up to $20,000. And there's one particularly rare no-S-proof silver dollar that's valued at an astonishing $850,000. So there you have it. The 1976 silver Eisenhower dollar is more than just a piece of change. It's a slice of American history with a potentially valuable twist. If you're a collector, or just curious about the worth of those old coins, it's worth taking a closer look to see if you have a silver variant. Who knows? You might just have a small fortune hiding in plain sight. 